In this isonine training video, we will discuss how to diagnose and correct pressure imbalances so that your foam stays on ratio while spraying. When starting your machine, your A and B pressure gauges should come within 200 PSI of each other during pressurization and should remain balanced while spraying to ensure that the A and B materials are being mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio. If your foam goes off ratio, you will need to determine which material is missing in the foam and therefore which material is at fault. If your foam is ISO rich, then you are missing resin. The resulting foam may be crusty and brittle with a coarse cell structure exhibiting signs of shrinkage. Likewise, if your foam is resin rich, then you are missing ISO. The resulting foam may be soft and sticky, slow to cure, and exhibit signs of shrinkage. Next, we will determine whether we have a starvation or restriction issue by checking the pressure gauge of the fault material. For example, if your foam is ISO rich and you are missing resin, a low resin gauge will indicate a resin starvation, while a high resin gauge will indicate a resin restriction. Likewise, if your foam is resin rich, then you are missing ISO. A low ISO gauge will indicate an ISO starvation, while a high ISO gauge will indicate an ISO restriction. Since starvation issues are located on the supply low pressure side, we will check between the drum and the proportioner to correct the issue. The problem could be we may have cold material in the drum or no material in the drum at all. Or we may have insufficient air pressure to the supply pump or the supply pump may have failed. We may have forgotten to open the material ball valve, or possibly there is a kink in the supply hose. Or we may have a dirty or plugged Y strainer screen. On the other hand, since restriction issues are located on the dispense high pressure side, we check between the machine and the spray gun to correct them. The problem could be a dirty or plugged spray gun filter screen or a dirty or seized spray gun check valve. We may have buildup in the impingement port of the chamber or in the side seals or we may have foreign material trapped in the spray hose or in the gun fluid manifold. Diagnosing and troubleshooting pressure imbalances in this way will get you back to spraying isonine foams at their best quality quicker so that you can be more efficient and more profitable.